guys, welcome back to the last episode of the Seam Work Frankie Sew Along. All good things have to come to an end, right? Isn't that so sad? Um, but today we're gonna be finishing up the dress. We're gonna be attaching the sleeve. So we're gonna wrap this puppy up. So let's just not waste any more time with this chatty part and let's get to it. So I like to go ahead and pre-press all of my hems before I sew my side seams or before I sew the underarm seam, just so that there's one less thing I have to do in the round. Doing things in the round can be really finicky. Um, this is a pretty generous sleeve opening, um, but whenever I can, I'm always gonna just pre-press this. I'm not gonna sew it yet, but I am gonna press it up so that after I sew my underarm seam, this is already ready for me and I just have to turn it up and go to the machine. So I'm gonna go half an inch. Oh yeah, there we go. So that's the quarter inch. Boop, boop, come down. And then one and an eighth for the three eighths. Then you're going to sew the underarm seam for each one, for each sleeve. And then you're gonna hem the sleeve and you're gonna sew that all the way around, leaving a one inch gap so you can insert your elastic. <laughs> it's literally stuck in there. Wow. Okay. So once you get your sleeve hemmed, you have that opening there. You're going to put a safety pin on the end of your elastic and you're going to start feeding that through the casing that you made at the bottom of your sleeve. So you just keep pulling it inch by inch as it goes around. When you, the elastics come together, you're gonna overlap them by three eighths of an inch and then just sew over them a whole bunch until this is secured. And then close it up, pull it tight, redistribute all the gathers, and then you will go to your machine and sew this little thing closed. For now, I'm just gonna put a little pin in. Okay, so we're gonna be attaching this to the dress. We're attaching the sleeves to the dress. And there is a right side and a wrong side to your dress, obviously. Um, I'm sorry, a front and a back to your dress. The dress at this point should be inside out and the sleeve should be right side out. So let me turn this. Okay. And then your dress has a front, which is this, the non- yoked side, the non-lined side, and then the one with the yoke on it, that is the back side. Okay, just turn this a little better so y'all can see. Okay, so when you go to slide your sleeve into the garment, you want to make sure you are putting the right sleeve on the right side of the garment. On the sleeve, there is um, one side that has two notches, and the other side has a single notch. The single notched side goes toward the front. So we are gonna be placing this inside the dress, lining up our underarm seam with the side seam. And then just like everything else I've done regarding gathers and easing and all of that is I'm gonna pin only at seam lines and notches. So once I've got the underarm seam pinned, now I'm gonna come up to this first notch, which again, they should match up. It should be a double notch matching with a double notch on the sleeve. If it's not, then grab the other sleeve and then it'll work. Um, then I'm coming up to the top where I'm gonna find the notch on the top of the sleeve here. And that gets matched up with the notch, the upper notch on the yoke. Normally the top notch of the sleeve goes on your shoulder seam, but this has a bit of a forward shoulder where the yoke wraps around the top of your shoulder. So it's just a little bit past the shoulder seam. This is the top of your body though, even though the shoulder seam's right here. Now I am going to match up the single notch 
And now I will start to ease in. Um, the sleeve eased into the dress. Like this. I don't think we're making a big gather here. Very subtle. Yeah, like even that might have been a little bit too much. Yep, that looks good. So add a few more pins around and it will be wavy at the raw edge, but at the seam line, you just kind of have to trust the process that they will match up. Okay, and then do the same thing for the other side where you're gonna grab your gathering threads and you're gonna pull them up so that these two things match. All right, now we're gonna to go to our sewing machine and we are going to sew this at our regular seam allowance. Remove all the basting stitches, trim the seam allowances, and then also finish them. So I'm gonna run them through my serger. All right, so we're gonna start at the underarm seam, like so. And we're gonna come around, making sure to keep our raw edges even as we do that. I'm just using my finger to kind of poke in here and make sure that everything is staying nice and flat along the plate of my machine. Now I've got my hand inside here, but on top of the sleeve so that it can kind of help distribute the fullness. It gets a little bit more sketchy toward the top. All right, and before you just go off and surge it, make sure that everything is in fact nice and flat and that there's no puckers. That looks really good. Come around here, also good, great, okay. All right, so I'm gonna put it through the serger and then repeat for the other side. All right, and once that's done, you can turn your garment to the right side and you should have a beautifully set in sleeve. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, yay. You guys, we did it. The Frankie dress is done. I'm obsessed with mine and I hope you are as well. I'm going to be back in a day or two to reveal how mine turned out. So you'll get to see me modeling it and see it in all its glory. But man, what a fun pattern to sew. I told you that you were going to be utilizing a lot of your like hidden magical sewing skills. And I think that, um, I think that we definitely did that. So I'm so proud of you for finishing the sew along. You should be proud too. If you are going to be posting yours to the internet. Make sure to tag Seamwork and tag me so that we can see it. Um, but that's going to do it for another Seamwork Sew Along. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye!